when you're being oppressed, you have to let your person know you're willing to do anything to get your freedom. Most people, they don't like it. They don't like to come out and speak from the heart because something inside of them says no. That's called fear. Well, what is it that we have to be afraid of? Are we guilty? Or are we doing right? It's amazing. This world. And what you can do. And what you can see. And what is being obstructed from sight. Yes. You know, check the camera, there's Wi-Fi, that has accessibility, people can access, so we have to take precaution when we're one man armor. But it's going to take some suffering, it might even take some aggression, it might take more hardship, more blood, or are we just willing to lie and to stand no more? Or what is it that we are standing for? And most people there, they're resting, they're trying to get to work or go home from work, they want to see this thing on TV, right? They're captivated. They're programmed to think a certain way to obstruct reality and the surroundings and how that impacts them. Are they thinking about how the decisions of others affect them, or is it just they believe that they're shielded? What is it that people seek? Where are they going? Where are their goals? What? Are there aspirations? What do they desire to accomplish? You hear the bell. What is this bell? What is it saying? Is it fulfilling its message? Or is it covering something. You know these sounds and these language that's used is used intentionally to condition you to the message to make you believe there's something good. There's something good happening. It's a cloak, a garment of ungodliness. From having discovered this book this week, the great speeches of Frederick Douglass, I found it necessary to share this information. 
Yes, they assign us that place. They don't let us do it for ourselves. Nor will they allow us a voice in the decision. They will not allow that we have a head to think, and a heart to feel, and a soul to aspire. See, creativity is a threat to some that possess none. For where is this creativity? From wherewith will it come? And who will deny the origin thereof? And so it is that which they are unable to possess is that which they are jealous of. And so, where they could not create, they infiltrate. I have the gratification to know that if I fall by the utterance of truth, in this matter, that if I shall be hurled back into bondage to gratify the slaveholder, to be killed by inches, that every drop of blood which I shall shed, every groan which I shall utter, every pain which shall rack my frame, every sorrow in which I shall indulge shall be the instrument under God of tearing down the bloody pillar of slavery of hastening the day of deliverance for three million of my brethren. Slavery makes it necessary for the slaveholder to commit all conceivable outrages. Yes, it is necessary for the slave class to exist, to enrich those select few members of the world class the world class of oppression. Slavery in the United States is the granting of that power by which no man exercises and enforces a right of property in the body and soul of another. A marketable commodity in the language of man's law. The will and the wishes of the master are the law of the slave. Today, people are enslaved in ways they know not of. There are no bruises, there are no cuts, scars on their flesh, yet on their mind they have been imprinted with the bondage of the flesh. And why? Why is that? 
none other than it continues to make production for those for those of the oppressive sort. Spare my life was my continual prayer. When I was looking for the blow about to be inflicted upon my head, I was not thinking of my liberty. It was my life. Yet as soon as the blow was not to be feared, then came the longing for liberty. Yes, the slave must be brutalized. Well, how should that brutality come when those marks are evident? When those marks are evident, it provides the proof. So they seek to inflict the blows mentally. That's right. They seek to inflict the blows, and then when they devise the conditions for chaos, they let others inflict the blow upon you. Because that is the course of action that has been determined. This is not by coincidence. There are those that seek to remain in power, to keep those on the bottom, living on sand, waiting for it to fall in, or waiting for the water to rise, or the fire to burn. There's no protection. There's no protection now going forward. They seek to protect themselves. That will be done at your expense. That will be done. They take an oath to this way. The way of the slave master. She formed her resolution. And just as those who were about to take her were going to put hands upon her to drag her back, she leaped over the balustrades of the bridge and down she went to rise no more. You know, people are being pressed down so far that what do you hear now when you turn on the television or when you listen to the radio? Devastation. All these acts of indecency. Really? And why is that the result? You don't believe me, sir? No, I'm just curious. I couldn't hear what you were saying. Oh. Well, I'm saying whatever the spirit calls. I don't have no script, but I did bring this book, Frederick Douglass, which I found this week, and I am excited about it. So I thought it would be a good opportunity to share. Yes, this is Frederick Douglass. So, Frederick learned to read. I had read the narrative before I found this book. And when he discovered to read, that's when he became a threat. He became a threat because he was influential that he could also teach others to read. So this was actually impermissible to teach a slave to read. And today, how is the education structured? Education is the key. 
Education, but real education. Because you could go to the university and not le learn what you need to know to survive. I mean, you know, the... the the Ivy League schools and the private schools are going to teach the individuals what they need to know to be in the management roles. Yet, the rest of the public schools are teaching people how to be subservient. Training them for the corporation. You pay them to go to the school and they train you to be their servant. Just to answer the woman's question. I can see she's gone. But loving the one, I must take the other. Holding to the one, I must reject the other. Even the Christ had put it down to say, no, he would not unite with Satan. <laughs> he would not unite with Satan. And that was the man. The man, because the spirit had been given to those who lived as the body of Christ. And the spirit was given freely. And that is the law. That is the law. Yet man had a separate plan. Man had another plan, even in that time. If you check from the book of Luke in chapter 2, you know that Augustus Caesar began to tax the land. And where does this funding go? And for what purpose? So, there is one solution is to not pay taxes. Now, I know it's easier said than done, but you don't have to allow the withdrawal from your paycheck. That's your decision. If you know, if you become educated like the woman said, education is key. If you become educated, you'll begin to realize how that money is used. How it's used for theft, for murder, for lies. For lies. And it's waste. It's waste. Destruction. Oh, the earth grieves. Oh, the earth is shaken. It moves to and fro. It languishes. How is it that man will exceed the power of the natural force? What answer is man giving today? What solution does man have? What are we hearing? What are our children being shown? Who is speaking about this matter? In this respectable town here, who is standing up to answer the call? Are they behind the wall? In the church? Is that where they're doing their speaking? Is there anyone that is willing to come out? Come out from behind the wall. Anywhere. Or is it true? Are we left now in complete dependence of a pedophile, Donald Trump? Is that the, who the people are, are waiting to lead them? They may be led astray. They may be led in the wrong 
direction. So let the oppressor know when the oppressor chooses to play games, it's a hop, skip, and jump from the center of this town. And that's how it is.